In this video, we are going to see what are partitions of a set. In order to understand the partitions of a set, first we need to understand what are disjoint sets. So if we have two sets A and B and there is no common element to A and B, that is, if we take intersection of A and B, then it should be the null set or empty set. That is, there is no element common to both. So if we have this scenario, so here we see that there is some common region A intersection B is not null set. Here we see that there is no common element. So if it has 1, 2, 3, then it, it will not have 1, 2 or 3. It, it may have 5, 6. So here A intersection B is null set. Here we see that B is a subset of A. So B is contained inside A and here A intersection B would be this entire B. So only this case is valid and we will call here A and B are disjoint set. Now let's see what are partitions of a set. So if we have a set A then the partitions of set would divide it into sub subsets like this is a possible division, this part and this part. And we can have these three parts also. So one set contains 1, 2, 4, second contains 3, 6, and third contains 5, 7. So here, these three would be the partitions of set A. So we see that there is no region common to these. So let's write the formal definition. So partition of a set A, let's say its S is a subset of the power set of A. So remember the power set of any set is the set of all possible subsets of that set including the null set. So this will also be a set of sets but it will not be the complete power set because power set has many uh, sets which have some common elements. So it should not have any common elements. So S should satisfy these three properties. First for all sets belonging to S, X should not be empty set because if we add empty set we are not adding anything new. So this should not include the empty set. Second condition is that for all X, Y if we take any two subsets, any two if uh, a partition of a set may contain two or more uh, sets. So if we take any two sets then their intersection should be null set. That is X and Y are disjoint and this should be true for all the pairs, all the sets included in this partition of set. So they should be pairwise disjoint. And third condition is that union of all x belonging to S should create the A. Now let's see all these three properties for these, this example. So let's say this is A1, this part is A2 and this part is A3. So here A is this complete set, this bigger region. Then we have a1 is 124, a2 is 36 and a3 is 57. Now let's see if it satisfies all the three properties. So the first property is that all the sets contained in this partition of set should be not null. So this is not null, this is not null, this is not null. So the first property is satisfied. Now let's see the second property is that they should be pairwise disjoint. So we see that intersection of A1 intersection A2 is null, A1 intersection A3 is null because this is A1, A3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7. There is no element common to these. Similarly, A2 intersection A3, compare these two sets. There is no element common to them. So again, these are all pairwise disjoint. So the second property is also satisfied. Now the third property is that 
the union of all sets contained in S should be equal to A. So, union of A1, A2 and A3 will give 1, 2, 4, then 3, 6, then 5, 7. So, is it equivalent to A? We see that A has 1, it has 1, 2, 2. So, we will see that all the 7 elements are present here and there is no element extra. So, this is same as set A. So, third condition is also satisfied. So, A1 union, A2 union, A3 is equal to A. And we can see the same thing pictorially also. This is A1, this is A2 and this is A3. Suppose uh, this A2 includes 4. Then we see that uh, this A1 and A2 will have 4 common. So, in that case, this would not be a valid partition. Similarly, if there is another set A4, which is this empty set, then also this condition will not be satisfied. So, that's all about disjoint sets and partitions of a set. See you in the next video. Thank you.